everybody, Spencer Jones here with Jones Into Get Fit, and I'm here for our weekly live cooking show. You know, it seems like I adjust this camera every single time we have a live show. you think one of these days I would get it straight. You would think, oh well. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in today, folks. I'm really pumped for today's episode. It is going to be delicious and just an amazing dessert that is super easy that it's, okay, if you can boil water you could probably make this recipe. Well, okay, maybe a little bit more than boiling water because you have to do like a little bit of measuring, like a little bit. But if you can do that, you are, are golden. You'll be set to make this. And today's recipe, as I said, it's amazing. It's gonna be a delicious dessert that, that you can have. It's gonna be healthy and obviously, obviously healthy, right? And delicious. It is a coconut. Yeah, that's right, a coconut rice pudding and it's gonna be creamy and it's gonna be absolutely amazing and if you don't like coconut right i know my wife doesn't like coconut uh that is okay don't freak out over it you can easily switch it up because um i'll show you how to switch up and you can change it right at the end as well so you can make it into something else and actually i'm gonna mix it up a little bit myself and not just have coconut i'm gonna add some raisins and all that good stuff so there's a couple ways you can adapt it one thing i love about cooking is that you can adapt what you're making so you know it's not like baking right I'm, i like baking but i'm not great at it but uh with baking it's a science right you need so, uh, so much of this and so much of that to combine to to make this uh you know um the chemistry happen and reaction happen so you get delicious food with with cooking you get delicious food but you can mix and match a little bit you can have some fun and play around with it it's one reason why i love cooking that's one reason why i love bringing the show to you i like showing you my twists on food and how to make it healthy and still amazingly delicious uh i try making everything delicious on here for all of you so if you can all do me a quick favor before we get going with the show um two things first thing can you share this video first just click share right right below click share Share it out to your friends, your family. It would be awesome. I really appreciate it if you could do that. And second thing, this is going to take a little bit more work right after the video ends. I'll remind you, if you could do me a favor and subscribe to our Jones and to Get Fit YouTube page. There's a link right in the copy right there. Right there. You could uh, subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube later on, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Um, any likes we get on there, any subscriptions, really helps us out. So uh, that's what I got for that. Let's get into making this. Let me show you what we got here for our ingredients. Let's bring you over. It is backwards. I know. It's a joys, right? I guess I really turn my camera around, but I'm just not going to. We have three cups of brown rice. It's organic rice. Um, I will note that this makes six uh, recipes, six um, servings, just so you know. That's scary on your full screen TV if you're doing that, Israel. It'd be kind of crazy. So three cups of long brown rice. We have honey. We have coconut oil. We have raisins. Totally optional right there. We have vanilla extract. We have a little bit of shredded coconut. Look at that right there. Ooh, shredded coconut. Almond milk. Coconut milk. If you don't want coconut milk, you could just use uh, almond milk. If you don't want to use any of that, you could use regular milk. But I'd, I'd, I'd stick with almond milk. That's just me. Um, I get the unsweetened kind. And I would suggest that unsweetened kind because it's only 30 calories. Why need all that sugar? Right? Unsweetened coconut milk. Right, awesome. Simple truth. You got, uh, you know, measuring things. You're going to need a nice saucepan like that. Oh, it's so beautiful. And a lid, and then a small pot, small pan. So we're gonna bring you over here again. Get your back up on my counter. How's the counter feeling up there, folks? Boom, crazy. It's a crazy counter. Okay. Here's what you're gonna need to do. You are going to need your pan. As I said earlier, we're gonna turn it on a medium high so it's medium high getting the pan nice and warm right now we're gonna be set to rock and roll this is gonna happen so fast it's gonna scare you that's how fast it's gonna happen all right we need one and a half cups of the coconut milk one and a half here we go got my cool uh, measuring thing here one and a half let's go la, da, la, da, just pouring away I can go faster Oh my gosh, it's shooting everywhere. Okay, one and a half cups. And then you put it in the pan like this. You don't have to make a weird face. Totally optional, up to you. All right, then we have our almond milk. Whoa, crazy. Silk almond milk. Love this stuff. 
Again, another cup and a half. So you just put in a cup and a half of coconut milk and now a cup and a half of almond milk, unsweetened, both of them. And you put it in there like that. And you add that to the coconut milk in your saucepan. Follow me so far, it's terribly hard. And as I said, like if you can boil water, you can pretty much do this recipe, at least the basic part of it, no problem. Now, you're going to add your rice. We have, again, three cups. I've said this how many times. I'm just drilling it in your head. Drilling it in your head. Three cups of brown rice, organic, because that's the way I roll. You don't have to. Up to you. Get my little spatula here. I'm going to just kind of mix it in. Now, you want to keep stirring this up occasionally so it doesn't get burned on the bottom. But that's okay. We'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, help you out a little bit. Now you're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. One teaspoon of vanilla. This one's almost empty on me. Here's half a teaspoon. There's a teaspoon. So you're going to need a teaspoon of this of vanilla extract. You could use any extract you want if you like different flavors, right? You could use almond. Um, if you're using mint, it would be kind of intense, or peppermint, that would be kind of weird. Totally doable. A little bit strange. You can, you're welcome to use that if you like. But yeah. Just go for like a drop or two. That stuff is quite, quite potent. Uh, quite potent. All right, so we added milks, two milks. We have um, vanilla extract, whoa. And now we're going to add two tablespoons of honey. All right, so we're just gonna add two tablespoons. Does the face add to the taste? You know, Randall, I think it does. I mean, usually my face adds to lots of things and it mostly disagrees with people, but um, as in like, you know, ugly mug kind of thing. Um, that, that type of stuff. So, two tablespoons of honey. Here's how I like to measure two tablespoons of honey. Watch close. You know what? I'm going to bring you closer so you can see this. Hold on, because this it gets kind of intense. How I, I pour my honey. I really want to really want to bring you in close to the action. Okay. So now you can kind of see what I'm doing. There's that. We're going to put that over there. I'm making a mess in my kitchen. That's okay though. All right. You see it? You see it all right over there? I don't know if you can see it. Whoa, that's bright. Okay. There it is. This is how I pour it. Ready? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 I think that was about one. All right, second one. That looks like one, right? Okay, second one. The sound effects definitely make it tastier. You know, more like a clover honey, you know. Uh, apple blossoms with a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit more. There, there we go. That seemed like about two tablespoons worth of the honey. Now, why did I do that and not actually put it in here? Because, tell you the truth, it's a pain. I mean, it's not hard to clean them with the tablespoons, but it's kind of a pain. Like, let's be honest here, folks. I'm going to drop some truth bombs on you. It's a pain. Mm. So, uh, I just skip it, and I just guesstimate in my good old Spencer Jones fashion of how to measure you can totally measure. You need two tablespoons if that's something you like to do. All right, so now I'm just mixing it together. We'll bring it back down. Whoa! Welcome back to the show. Let's see if we can do that. You know what? Let's have some fun here and um, with the show, the live show. Where is it? All right, we. I want this. And we're gonna do this. Like, take a look at that awesomeness right there, folks. It's starting to froth up. And I'm just stirring it, mixing it in so it gets all mixed in and tasty goodness right there. All right, let's 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 get rid of that. And uh, actually, you know what? We'll just have some fun. Drop a little bit in here. There we go. You know what? Let's uh, keep stirring it here. I'll just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cry. Tears of beautiful joy. Cause it's so beautiful. It's right there, it's so beautiful. Okay, enough of that craziness. We'll get back up here. All right. So now, let me get you back. I'm gonna move you, believe it or not. Whoa! Different side of the kitchen, a view. If you have watched the Jones and the Get Fit cooking show before, you have seen this view before. All right. So we're just putting that back in. Now we're going to get it up to a boil. I'm turning it up to high. The goal is to get it to a nice gentle boil so that we can get it back uh, and ready to rock and roll here to cover up. And then you're gonna cover it up for about 20 minutes. It's already starting, you saw the froth starting to uh, happen. You just don't want it to stick. So that's why you kind of just stir it occasionally. Try to make sure it doesn't stick. I'm going to cover it. Cover it will help it boil faster. 
Now, I've learned something, uh, I've realized something, I should say, over the past week, and that is a lot of people are afraid to cook. Um, a lot of people are afraid to try this. Well, I guess I knew that already, but really, just give it, give it a shot at it, right? You're, you're, you're going to mix things, you're going to try, you're going to fail. We all fail at things in life. It happens, and that's okay if you fail, because hopefully you're going to learn from it and say, you know what, that sucked, that really was horrible. But I can do better. I can do better by doing this, or by adding this, or trying this, right? It's like anything in life. You try it, you fail, you pick yourself back up, and you, you adjust, you learn, and, and you go on, and hopefully become successful, right? Um, that's one of the things uh, I like to talk about. I do actually motivational speaking on um, like your why, and picking yourself up, and help people continue on. It's one of the fun things I do, outside of like everything else, kayak fishing related and all that good stuff. All right, so this is going, once we get to a boil here, I'm gonna turn up a little higher. Once that sucker gets up to a boil, we're gonna turn it down so it's more of a gentle boil and it's gonna sit there for about 20 minutes. The goal is that the rice is gonna soak up all of that uh, milk and, and uh, vanilla extract and honey and it's become super soft. So unlike rice that you would eat for dinner, right? You're gonna leave, leave it on there a little bit longer uh, and we added more milk than you probably would so that it just really um, just gets that creamy texture and is super soft so it's not crunchy anymore, but it's really, really soft. It's gonna be a dessert quality. All right, almost getting ready to boil. We're gonna lift that cover up and stir it occasionally. So we're set. All right, next step. This is totally optional. If you like, here, I got weird spots on here. Let me see if I get rid of that. Uh, how do I open that up? Let's see here. No, I don't want that. Let's see. It. Oh, camera on, don't need that. Hey, let's get out of that one. Does that do it? Hey, there we go, we're back. Awesome, folks. Hey, as this is getting ready to boil here. Oh, 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 starting. Woo -ya. I have a question for you. My question for you is, and I put it in the comments below, type in, what is your favorite meal of the day? I'm just, I'm curious, what is your favorite meal of the day? Is it breakfast? Is it lunch? Is it dinner? Is it dessert after dinner? Is it a snack? Is it, I don't know, those are pretty much all the options, I think. But if there's something else, put it in the comments below. I'd love to know what your favorite meal of the day is. Put it in the comments, I'd love to know. All right, we're getting a good boil here now. Perfect. All right, we're going to cover that sucker. We're going to turn it down a little bit so it goes to that gentle boil. And as it's boiling, we're going to go over here to my smaller pan. I cook a lot of eggs and stuff in this pan. Um, any pan works. I have the nonstick just because it's going to make it a little bit easier for what I'm about to do uh, with the coconut and the raisins. I couldn't think of it with raisins. Okay. So we're going to turn that on about a medium, just shy of medium heat. I'm going to turn that sucker down before it boils over. And we're going to stir that occasionally, as I said before. All right, we're going to letting this pan heat up here. As it's heating up, oh, I do want to point out to my buddy Bob when you're watching, coffee pot, it's full. It's a full coffee pot right there. Oh, Katie says, uh, I kind of love dessert a little. Um, so kind of loves dessert, dessert's big. I'm guessing that means she loves it. Um, so do I. Who doesn't love dessert? Uh, one of my favorite meals. Uh, Randall, you said dinner is one of your favorites. Awesome. I, I love dinner as well. Nice. So some good things. Love dinner, dessert. Let's combine them. Let's make some uh, healthy dessert here with uh, with this coconut. It's going to be delicious. Rice pudding. Anyway, so we got our small pan heating up. I'm taking the coconut oil. Now, I'm only taking a tiny bit of this. Now, this is where you kind of have some fun, right? This is where I um, jones in it up here a little bit, having some fun. I'm just taking a little bit. It's a tablespoon, so you kind of get the size. Just a little bit of coconut oil. Uh, I like coconut oil. It's, it has a lot of healthy fats in it. It is obviously oil, right? So you got to know that. Got some little stuff down there. But it's a healthy fat, and it's better for you than some of the other oils. Plus, it has a very high smoking rate, so you can like do stir fries and, and things with that, right? It has a very high cook rate. Okay, so we're just going to move that around to the pan a little bit. It warmed up. Let me stir this quick. I forgot to set the timer, so let me do that now. We're going to say that's been going for two minutes. This, we want it to boil for about 20-25 minutes. So we'll just say we'll give it 20 more minutes here. 
I'm not sure if we'll have the whole show for it, probably not, but I will make sure I post a picture of it in the comments below on the Facebook page. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, definitely check out Jones and to Get Fit on Facebook and just search uh, live cooking shows or look up rice pudding and you'll be able to find it and see that picture. Okay, our, our coconut oil is warming up here. We got it on about a medium heat, just turned it up a little bit. And now I'm gonna add our coconut. The only reason, now this is unsweetened uh, coconut, right? Shredded coconut here. I don't know if you can see a little better. There we go, now you can see a little better. All right, so shredded coconut. I probably have mm, two tablespoons worth in here. You're gonna want a tablespoon per serving. So this is two servings worth. And I'm just gonna drop it in here. The hope is that I hear a sizzle, right? I can test it by adding a little bit of water, just on my finger, and I just flick it like that on the pan. You should hear it as the water evaporates. Then you know it's set to go. Okay, coconut flakes. Boom. Got it on there in the coconut oil. And I'm gonna add our raisins. I had about mm, a quarter cup of raisins. <coughs> I don't want all of them in there. Why did I do why did I do that? I only want about an eighth of a cup in there because I'm saving some for Katie's dish, and she's not a coconut fan. So I don't want any coconut in hers. There we go. Meant to put half in. I got excited. And then we'll take our other spatula and we're just going to mix it up here. Now you want to be careful because the coconut is going to brown very fast. The goal is just to brown the coconut and heat it up. All right? So you're toasting the coconut, heating up the raisins a little bit. Let me bring you over so you see what it looks like here. Okay. So that's what the coconut and I don't know if you can see it well coconut and raisins look like. So I'm just going to stir it around. Stir it with my left hand, that's why it looks horrible. So you're just going to stir that and make sure it browns. You don't want it, you want it nice and toasted. Again, you don't want it to burn. So you can turn on your heat if you need. You warm up the raisins. Oh man, this is, this is looking amazing. Now you didn't necessarily need to add the coconut oil. Uh, but I was thinking that that will help get it to be browned a little more and just uh, toast it nicely. All right, stir in this so it doesn't stick. It's looking amazing, smells amazing. And there we go. Keep this going. I'm going to shut this off here. All it took was what, 60 seconds, 90 seconds for that to toast. Boom, and you're done. All right, you can take that off and I'm going to set it aside here just a little bit. Before, right before it uh, starts burning. So it's nice and toasted. Take that off, set that off to the side. And then uh, when I'm done, when the rice is done for 20, 25 minutes, it's gonna be really soft, right? So it should mush up really good. Like if you uh, took a bite of it, it shouldn't have any like crunch or any um, hardness to it. So then I, I'm going to add um, my portion, you know, a little bit of the rice, or sorry, of the coconut and the raisins to my portion, mix it in, and there's my rice pudding. Just like that. That's good now. Take that off and set it over here. So there's my rice pudding. Just like that. Now, if you wanted to change it up a little bit, there's many ways you can do it. You could add different extracts besides vanilla. You could do vanilla and almond extracts. Just almond extracts, right? If you have a different flavor that you love, definitely feel free to add that. You could, don't have to use coconut, or you could, right? You could add raisins, you could add um, nuts. If you have like toasted almonds, um, which would be amazing in, in here, toasted almonds, pecans, anything like that, you can easily toast and add in to your rice pudding. This is just your base, right? So you're set to go um, using that long uh, organic brown rice uh, for that. Now I used honey to sweeten it up. You can use honey, awesome choice, right? Get the best honey you can. Um, another option would be maple syrup. So get um, a raw maple syrup, absolutely delicious. Um, and if you need to sweeten this afterwards, that's what you do. You're gonna add honey or you're going to add maple syrup to it. So you're set to rock and roll um, to add a little sweetener to it. So this serving, all this serves six people, right? Six servings in it. Um, obviously the, the coconut and raisins that I have are meant for two servings. So I'm gonna split that up between what I have. And so you adjust what you have, but I have the base so that I'm set to go for any other meals. This is an amazing, super easy, delicious dessert that you can make that's healthy, easy, and freaking amazing that your family and kids are going to love. Give it a shot. If you're not really big into cooking and you're not so sure about it, 
give it a shot. What? What is it going to hurt, right? Oh darn, I burned it. So what? You throw it out, you try it again. You can make it. Cinnamon. Oh, yeah, Randall. Cinnamon would be an excellent addition to it. Uh, David says bacon. I love it. Yes, we could, you know, add some bacon flavored rice pudding. Bacon, bacon's good on everything, let's be honest. Amazing, right? I love bacon. So there you go. That is this week's live cooking show brought to you by me, Spencer Jones from Jones and to Get Fit. A couple things really quickly. Please be sure to share this video out with your friends and your family. If you're watching this on YouTube, click share and share that link. That'd be awesome. I really appreciate it. Um, if you are watching this on Facebook or even on on uh, YouTube, make sure you subscribe to Jones and to Get Fit, our YouTube page. Link's below. If you're on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, just click subscribe. Appreciate it. Give this a thumbs up. Any of our videos, you can check out uh, my trip. I just got back in. Last week, we didn't have a live cooking show because it was a replay of one because I was still driving back and coming back uh, from the Jones and for Sale Fish tournament down in Pompano Beach, Florida. So I didn't have a live show, but all the live videos I shot there last week, right, there was like 20 videos, I believe, total, including the promos that I filmed, uh, are on the YouTube page. So if you want to check them out, go to Jones and Get Fit on YouTube or the link below will take you right there. And make sure you watch them, like them, give them a thumbs up, all that good stuff. All right, folks, that's what we have for this week. Let me know what recipe you would like to see below. Let me know what your favorite meal is. We have dessert. We have dinner already. Put the other ones below. Thank you, Katie and Randall, for commenting on that. And let me know your favorite meal. Let me know what meal you want me to make next. You never know. I got some meal prep ideas coming up for you in another episode. And let's have some fun. Let's challenge it. Let's, uh, let's see what we can make. All right, folks. There you go. Or maybe an ingredient challenge. Now, that's an idea. You give me a list of ingredients that kind of work together, and I have to make it work and be healthy. This could be a fun challenge. Put it in the comments below. Let me know. All right, folks, this is Spencer Jones tuning out for the night. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thanks for supporting everything I do. Please share, like this, comment. Everything you do helps support me and helps support me, help you be healthy and fit. Awesome. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great night. I think this is the 10th time I've said it. We'll catch you all later. Good luck, tight lines, and get fit and get healthy. Bring it.